For the first 12 series, Thomas the Tank Engine was filmed with physical models and props on expansive detailed sets that made it feel like a proper living world. Also, this may sound silly now, but back when I was a child, I was genuinely convinced that these were real, full-sized engines. Finding out they were little models was a bit of a shock to young Sean. Anyway, hundreds of hours were spent meticulously crafting everything to look as good as it could, and then even more hours were spent filming it. I have a lot of admiration for the craftsmanship and technique that went into making the show, and honestly it's probably the best thing about it. I think even the people who aren't a fan of the stories could still appreciate the physical production work. That doesn't mean everything was perfect though, because occasionally they did slip up. Mistakes do happen. I mean look at my videos, Gordon as an A2, am I right? Whether it was due to a lack of time to correct the error, they weren't noticed, or just considered on non issue, I can't really say because I wasn't there. But there are certain noticeable mistakes and goofs throughout the show. They're never bad enough to outright ruin episodes for me, and in some cases I actually enjoy them because they're funny and like little easter eggs to look out for. So in this video, I'm going to go over my favourite goofs and errors from the classic series. Don't expect an in-depth discussion about why these are awful, or even a comprehensive list of all of them, it's just a bit of fun when I'm looking at my favourite ones. I also want to say thank you to GWR Studios, who made videos on Goofs and Thomas episodes that used to really entertain me. I'm not sure where he went, and it's been a while since he uploaded, and I hope he's doing well. I highly recommend checking out his videos for more, so you can see more of the goofs. Anyway, on to the video. This is something that happened quite a bit during series 2. There were a few times when engines mysteriously lost their eyebrows. I suppose the idea of engines even having facial hair in the first place is a bit odd, even in context. So, this almost feels like the universe adjusting the balance to turn some of the characters back into a smooth, newborn-like hairless state. I like to think that the barber Duck crashed into harboured such a deep grudge that he snuck around the island shaving all the engines eyebrows off. If it happened in an episode that took place before a close shave, then he must have time travelled. That's definitely it. Really though, I'm not sure if the eyebrows just wore off and had to be repainted on afterwards or what, but it's definitely a strange and alarming sight. This is another one that happened quite a bit in series 2. I imagine this is down to the interior mechanism, sometimes acting kind of funky, but occasionally characters' eyes would go all squiff and point in completely different directions, with one eye looking at Knapford and the other one is off somewhere else, like Arlsdale. It's like they've just spent the past hour boozing on oil, and now they're being forced to work in a drunken stupor. They're all over the place, just look at them! This isn't so much of a mistake as it is something that still made me smile anyway. In a few shots across different episodes, you can see how the production team got creative with their small props. And it seems like rather than making new things all the time, they simply grab wherever was nearby and use that. Like here for instance, in Thomas's Christmas party, the fat controller is clearly standing on Lego, and the lights on the turntable are just regular sized fairy lights like you'd have on a Christmas tree. In shots involving people, they can often be seen just standing on blue tack if you look really closely. I'm not gonna lie, I've done that with my figures as well. This is just something they quickly use to prop up human characters, and they're never really on screen long enough to really notice it unless you're looking for it really closely, but I still love it. When you know it's there, you know it's there. The steam engine characters in Thomas and Friends may all share the same generally grey circular face design, but the moulded features are different enough that you can easily tell them apart, even without the bodies attached. I think that's one of the reasons why autistic kids were so fond of the show, among other things. I'm autistic myself, shocker, I know, and I definitely appreciated being able to easily identify other characters like that. The face was just one component that formed the character, along with the body shape, colour and number. A few times, however, things went a bit iffy. Take a look at this photo, for example. Notice anything wrong with it? Well, Edward is wearing James' sad face. Edward's sad face is meant to look like this. During Thomas Goes Fishing, there's shots when Thomas is wearing Percy's face. And then, during Diesel Does It Again, Percy is wearing Thomas's face. Honestly, these two look similar enough that I can't really blame them for doing this. I'd assume they were the right ones too, if they haven't been pointed out to me already. I don't know how this sort of thing happens. Maybe the crew just didn't realise or thought the faces were close enough to be a non-issue. But when you noticed it, it's not something you can so easily unsee. The most egregious and somewhat horrifying face swap occurs in the Series 4 episode Peter Sam and the Refreshment Lady. When Peter Sam pulls into the station, you see this. Henry is wearing Gordon's face. It just looks wrong. Just really, really, really wrong. What would you call this abomination? Horden or Genry? Just for fun, here's some other face swaps I made just to show how odd these can look. 
enjoy and I'm sorry for any nightmares. Now, of course there's other goops that I like, such as visible hands on screen or equipment being visible, but those pale in comparison to this next era. This absolute masterclass in cocking up, and somehow not realising the damage is done until it's released. I'm talking, of course, about this. Oh wait, wait no, I'm sorry, that was the wrong version, sorry. Go for the train. Yeah, you heard that didn't you? Let me play it again just in case you didn't. Go for the train. For some completely baffling reason that just defies comprehension on an early American home release VHS of Thomas and the Trucks, you can clearly hear someone say, look out for the train. I just... What? I mean, uh, how does that even happen? It's not even just some random background noise either. The music even actually stops for a little while to let the voice play, as if it was a conscious, deliberate, stylistic choice. Go for the train. I don't even hate it. I mean, I think this is wonderful. Someone needs to get on the case and do a deep dive into the origins of that VHS and figure out who said it. You know, there's probably a rabbit hole. How did this happen? How did this end up in the final release? Who said it? Where was it made? Like, who okayed this? Are they still alive? Maybe it was... You. Watching this. Who knows, maybe it was. Anyway, this is absolutely my favourite goof in the series, just because of how egregious and in your face it is. And it's something that, because it only happened in the American one, lots of people who watched other dubs may not even know this exists. So if this is your first time seeing this, then... You're welcome. You will now not be able to see the scene without hearing this. So, there you go. Those are my favourite mistakes and goofs from Thomas and Friends. I know there's loads more throughout the series, but these are the ones that amuse me the most because of how noticeable they are, and how difficult they are to unsee or hear when you're aware of them. I'm not using this as a way of criticising the production because obviously a lot of hard work went into making it, and slip-ups do happen. We all make mistakes. <clears throat> so, what are your favourite goofs and mistakes from Thomas? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear more. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Go for the train.